Hi and welcome to another video by Eggy Fits. In this video I'm going to show you how I rip up this needle punch carpet in a communal hallway and I refit a brand new needle punch for these residents of these flats here. So first of all my assistant ripped it up and as you can see on the floor there it's sort of like yellow and that yellow is the old glue and the old glue if you use the right stuff which is an F3 adhesive it crystallizes and when you pull up the carpet it would just basically break off and so that's why it's quite easy to rip up as long as you use F3 and it's old enough so here I am rolling out the new flooring and I'm just taking off my measurements rolling them up just move them out of the way but this one here is um, a piece I'm going to cut up for the stairs that go up above the shop. And I'm going to use a piece of ply, as you can see. I'm writing down my measurements. I'm probably, this is, I think this is the risers. And I'm using the piece of ply because it's a proper right angle. And um, it gives you a decent cut as well. Right, now I'm pulling in the piece of matting that's going to go in the front door, cutting that piece off on the width so it can lay off the front of the door and it gives me a nice edge, straight edge to fit the uh, carpet up to because I'm not going to put a bar on it, it's going to actually fit up to one of the lower ridges in the uh, matting. And I'm using that very same adhesive that I talked about, is F3. And there's my mate just standing around chatting while I'm uh, doing the stairs. He's very good at it, standing around chatting. Now he's going to do the other side of the mountain. We give it a bit of open time so it can sort of like tack off a bit. Now I'm getting in the carpet. We're going to glue half. Leave it to go off a little bit and then do the other half. Got a little blower there to sort of help because the, um, the day wasn't the warmest of days. There I am again with a piece of ply and now I'm cutting the actual treads. The treads are the bits that you stand on when you're walking up the stairs. So we put that one in, make sure it's nice and straight. I'm not laying around, I'm cutting it in underneath those, that stairs. It's quite tidy. And that customer just, uh, well not customer, but the resident opened the door and asked us for if we wanted a cup of tea. And we said yeah. You've got to have a cup of tea, haven't you? And there's the cup of tea. Ready to rock and roll. As you can see where my assistant is um, gluing, he's leaving a patch where the join goes, where they join up, which hasn't been glued. I'll show you that later, why that is. Oh, and just so you know that I've actually hammered two concrete nails in this row, which is closest to the camera, so it doesn't move, doesn't twist out of place. go drop it now the joins overlapped as you can see so you can glue the other half still leaving that gap not for the join 
now they overlap, see? And what we're going to do is we're going to cut through both of them with the straight edge. And that gap is ideal to spread my mate laying down on the joblet to spread some adhesive down. And as you can see, it was a quick glance of it, a bit of spray, a bit of spray actually on the back of the car, but just a bit grab because it was freezing cold that day and it wasn't going off very well. But this is the last piece going in. And I cut the joint first before it goes in. A lot of standing around today. And there it goes. We had a crack in time. And there we go. And this is what I was doing in the meantime when my mate was chatting to me. I was doing the stairs. Here's the mountain. All finished. And yeah, there's the carpet. Two joins. She's got her cups back. We put all the matting back and we had some parcels delivered as well. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to see any more, subscribe and um, watch for my next videos. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye.